Hey, peace! Okay, you're not supposed to look that cute. <laughs> so guys, a while back we did a video of us shopping at Old Navy. And I, oh, stupid bird, see? Change the, change the smoke alarm, Teresa. It's not a smoke alarm, it's a stupid bird, right over there. <laughs> Anyways, um, a few weeks ago we did a video where we went shopping at Old Navy and Fab challenged me to find an outfit at Old Navy that I would have to wear for the day. So this is the outfit. Let me grab the tote. <laughs> I don't have a belt. We didn't find a belt. <laughs> we didn't find a belt. But anyways, this is the outfit that I picked out. The, the shoes for you good. The shoes, the pants, the shirt, the vest, and the tote. <laughs> so I we need to go run some errands. So I have to put everything out of my Celine into my tote because this is my purse for the day. <laughs> but I don't think it looks that bad. No, you came out and it looks super cute. So literally, literally, we have the price tags of everything. So we'll we'll total it up so we can flash it across the screen for you. But I spent thirty four ninety nine. I think that was the shirt. Another thirty four ninety nine, which I think was the boots. Forty nine ninety nine, which I think was the pants. $29.99, which was the vest, and $10 was the tote. The sack. Huh? The sack. The sack. <laughs> so literally, we'll, we'll total that up for you guys. But this is uh, this is my outfit for the day from Old Navy. What do you think, Dad? <laughs> the bag is what does it for me. <laughs> <laughs> here you got this one over here, your regular bag. I know. So let's go get our errands ran, right? Oh, I gotta get my bag. Do I have to carry the bag in? Yep. Here you go. I love this bag. <laughs> so the funny thing is, guys, they know her here. So I wonder if they noticed her outfit today. <laughs> I actually feel like a little school girl. <laughs> my, little, my little school sack. Did anybody recognize you? Yes. <laughs> oh my God, all, all the regulars are in there. So like, cause you know, we normally eat here on Sundays cause this is where my husband likes to eat on Sundays because he can watch all the football games and eat at the bar. So he loves going here on Sundays. And so of course, everybody that normally is sitting in there on Sundays, we're like, oh, <laughs> hey Tracy. Like, Shit. <laughs> don't look at my bag. <laughs> don't look at me. So damn hungry. Well, you still have to go in the bank. I don't have to go in. You got saved there. <laughs> oh, oh my God, we got to film today's video in this outfit, right? Yes, you do. <laughs> so guys, I'm sporting my lovely Old Navy outfit. Ooh. What do you think? And guys, we added it up. I think we're going to flash it on the screen, but I think it was one, uh, we're going to flash it up. One fifty nine ninety six dollars For under $200. I was, uh, it was uh, under 160 bucks. I got an outfit and a... I call it a school bag. <laughs> I think I think when I was a teacher's aide, when I was 19, I carried a bag like this that had like shit in it. <laughs> Anyways, okay guys, this video today is all about those purchases, those lux luxury item purchases that you regret. And boy, have I had my share. Mm -mm -mm. Where do I begin? Let's start with this Chanel briefcase, or uh, Hermes briefcase. Okay, so I thought I had to have an Hermes briefcase because like who doesn't have an Hermes briefcase, right? Put all kinds of goodies in it. Like, yes, it's perfect, right? Look how dusty it is. It's even dusty. It's nasty. I hated it so bad that I don't even know if I ever put anything in it. So you never used it? I might have stuck stuff in it, but then I never used it. Like, 
Because after I got it, I know people are going to go, well, why didn't you take it back? Because I thought it would grow on me and I would like start to like it and like, but I don't know. I just never felt like it was me. I don't, you know? Yeah, very businessy. I don't know. Okay. So then what did I do? <gasps> I decided to get a different Hermes briefcase. <laughs> so then I was like, well, maybe it's the color. So once again, the haters are going to go, well, why didn't you just take it back and get a black one? I thought I was still going to like it. I mean, like, you know, so what do I do? I go get, look at the cute little H. I go get a black one. Look how dusty this one is. Look, this has at least got stuff in it. <laughs> Let me tell you what year. This looks like, hmm, oh, I was working with Astonish Media. So this had to be 2014, 2015. Oh, look, and it's even got, oh, see? Here we are. It's got my lookbook, my 2015 spring summer lookbook. Wow. See? So this bad boy is every bit of four years old. And here's my spring and summer lookbook from my Teresa Romer True uh -huh. and Real clothing line. You saw it. Yep. Wow. Amazing. Boom. So anyways, two Hermes briefcases, and I still don't use them. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't I can't bear to part with them. I don't know. It's part of my collections, right? Right. And then this Dior. Okay. So I ended up thinking I had to have these Dior bags because everybody's got classic Dior black bags, right? Right. I feel like they're grandma purses. I feel like they're grandma purses. I mean like Ick. I'm like, I know. I got the viewers out there going, okay, just hand it to me. I, I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> Next giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't. I don't even know if I've ever. I think I carried this one time. No way. I don't think I've ever carried this one. Mm -mm. I really don't think I have. Two very big regret, regretful purchases. Big time. Big time. Oh my God. Speaking of Hermes, so. Saw this, thought I had to have it. Blue's my favorite color, right? Yeah. And how freaking cute is it? Like, it's adorable. It's gorgeous. It's to die for. It's so pretty. It's got the bag in there and everything. It's so pretty. But the problem is, is every time I think I'm gonna wear it, it clashes with the outfit. It doesn't look right with the outfit. Or if I have black on and I'm like, oh, I'm going to do a pop of blue. It's gold. I don't want to wear gold jewelry. I'm not, I don't think I've ever carried it. <gasps> and if I did, maybe it was one time, but I think I've never carried this ever. So it might have to, it might have to go by my too. Oh, speaking of, remember when the whole rage, I don't know. I don't know if it's still a rage, but back when I... I was literally in LA and I wanted an Hermes Apple Watch because everybody was getting Apple Watches, right? Uh -huh. It was like, ooh, the biggest rave is got, you gotta have an Apple Watch. I was lit I literally thought about it while I was on Rodeo Drive and I thought, oh my God, I could go into the Hermes store and probably, or the Apple store. I wasn't sure who carried it. Was it Hermes, Apple, who? Mm -hmm. Then I found out on my way from Rodeo Drive to the airport to actually leave LA that I needed to go to the Hermes. And I was like, okay, do I tell the driver, turn around, go back? So I called one of my personal shoppers here in Houston and she was like, oh my God, let me call the Hermes store in the River Oaks district, see if they have any. Literally, I'm still in the car, I'm ready to tell the driver to turn around. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I'll be late for my flight. This was so last minute, like why, why, like, why was I in such a hurry, right? But I was bound and determined that day or two to have an Hermes Apple Watch. Can you see it? Is it lit up? One second. You see it? Yeah. She called me right back. She's like, they have an Hermes Apple Watch at the store. You want me to get it? And I'm like, yes. So I didn't have to be late for my flight. I got there. And when I got home the very next day, I had my Hermes Apple Watch that I never wear. <laughs> and I thought, oh, this is going to be so cool. I can answer the phone. I can read my messages. 
I literally think I've had it on my wrist maybe two or three times. Yeah. How sad is that? How sad is that? So here it goes. It goes on my wrist. It fits. Here we go. Boom. Doo -doo -doo. No notifications. Uh, I, I can't keep wearing this, can I? Because it doesn't go with the outfit. No. Can't have nothing I can't nice have, on with it. I can't have anything nice on with this outfit today. Okay. But anyways, yeah. So, so do I regret buying it? Mm, yes, no. Was it kind of a stupid purchase because I'd never use it? Yeah. You know, but maybe someday. Maybe. People are like, so why do you hang on to it? Maybe, maybe someday I'll wear it. Oh, my God. Right? Oh, my God. And then I remember when these came out. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. These are Giesbe Zanotti. I remember that I got a pair of Tom Ford boots and this Tom Ford dress that had zippers down the back of it, right? Mm -hmm. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, my God. These will look so cute when I wear that Tom Ford dress with a zipper down the back, all this other kind of stuff, you know? Mm. These are the most hated shoe in my closet. I remember wearing them to a Gucci event. I had the Tom Ford zipper dress on. I had these on. I looked to die for. I literally valeted at Neiman Marcus. It's only a few, what, what do you think, Fab? 100 feet? Yeah. From Neiman's to the mm -hmm. Gucci store? Walked to the Gucci store, was trying to stand there. I bet I wasn't even standing there 15, 20 minutes when suddenly my feet were on fire. Like, and of course, there's nowhere to sit down. And it's a Gucci event. You have to walk around and talk to everybody, right? I swear I lasted 15, 20 minutes. I could hardly walk back to Neiman's. I thought I was going to have to walk barefooted to get back to Neiman's. It hurt so bad. By the time I got on Neiman's and got in the car... I took my shoes off. My foot was like this. <laughs> Ouch. I swore I was never going to be able to walk again. I thought I permanently disabled my feet. Seriously. The, 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 I mean, like, you can kind of see. Can you see? The yeah, it's very really steep. Shoe? It is very steep. Like, you literally, your heel is up here, and you are straight down. Like, yeah. every ounce of your body is right there. Like, they're the most uncomfortable shoe. I've Literally, this is a shoe that you want to slip on while you're in the car, get out of the car, walk in, and sit down. And <laughs> don't ever get up until it's time to leave. Because these are a killer. These are a killer. Super cute. People are like, why don't you get rid of them? Actually, you know what? I think we're going to get ready to do a Poshmark collab. There you go. This might be a very good pair to go ahead and throw in that sack. Perfect. Because I'm I'm actually getting tired of looking at them on my shelf because I refuse to wear them. Guys, refuse, refuse. Oh, my God. Then, you know how much I love Christian Louboutin, right? Mm -hmm. OMG. So, I thought, these are a wedge. They're a platform. Right. They're comfortable. They're lubies. Ugh. Hate them. Hate them. <laughs> I don't know why, but I can't walk in them. Like, and when I do walk, like, it, it my feet hurt. It's just the weirdest thing. And I've never had a wedge sandal, but hurt. like be uncomfortable right. and hurt. They're supposed to be like really comfortable. No, not these. Not these. Mmm, 38s. And look, everybody out there. Hello, yeah. Hello, me, me, me. Even my daughter, who is my size, she's flat footed, can't wear them. Refuses to wear them. Like she, she sees how much pain I'm in. Oh my God, another Hermes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, saw this. Had to have it. I was like, the cutest clutch. Oh, my God. It's going to go with everything. It's the perfect color. It's literally going to go with everything. You guys, this is the most pathetic. Like, it barely will hold anything. I mean, it's pretty little, the bag. But um, <laughs> it never goes. And people are like, well, it'll go with browns. It'll go with blacks. Just never reach for it? I think I wore it once. In about five years. Yeah, none other waste. Oh my God, the biggest waste of all. Oh my God. What? Oh, and I've got it all bunched up. It looks like shit. But anyways, I when I saw it and it was so unique looking, I thought, oh yes, this is gonna be the bag, the bag. Because it's so rare, it's so different looking. It's, this is going to be so cool. Let me see if I can get it open. And I'm going to tell you what, guys. 
it is I maybe it's the shape. I, I thought when I I thought when I found it that it was gonna be so cool because it was so different shaped, but I hate I, I can't stand to carry it. Let me get this thing open. There. I literally cannot stand this bag. It's it, I don't know if it's the shape, but it's just a weird shape, isn't it, Fab? Yeah, it's definitely weird. And I, I thought I was gonna like it because of the weird shape, but I don't like it. I, I, and I know once again, people are gonna go, so why don't you take it back? Why don't you exchange it? Because ah. I still think I might use it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, it's still part of my collection and I still think maybe I'm gonna carry it, I don't know. But it's just a weird, I don't know. Now watch, one of these days we're gonna be going somewhere and I pick it up and take it right. right. It's a good color. Great color. But it's just the shape, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. There's not very many Louis Vuitton purchases I get that I regret. Because I pretty much like all mine. But this strap, I, I just had to have it. Had to have it, oh my God, this is so cool. They sold it to me as if this. You can use this strap on any Louis Vuitton. If you ever want it, you know, cause some Louis Vuittons have like little yeah. handles. Mm -hmm. Just add your strap on it. Then it becomes, you know, one that, I've yet to use it. I've yet to use it. <laughs> because some of the Louis that I have, have red right. leather. So of course this isn't, this isn't gonna go. So I, I, I don't know, I don't know what to use it on. I, I've never used it. Maybe it just, a belt? It, how is this gonna be a belt? Wrap it around you. I don't think so. Oh, Fab just came up with a new idea. <laughs> Should it be a belt? There you go. <laughs> do something with it. You're like, I would find something to do with the tree. Set. Actually, that'd be cute around a sweater dress. Put that around your waist. That'd be pretty cute. Mmm, Fab, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. I never thought to use that as a belt. Super cute. Where have you been my whole life? <laughs> because I was I'll find a way to make anything work. I was gonna say. And then you could do the orange side if you wanted. And you know that new Louis v that you got? Oh yeah. Wouldn't that be a cute strap <gasps> to that would. Don't <laughs> tempt me. <laughs> oh my goodness. What else? Oh my god. Last but not least. Oh oh. Shoot me first. <laughs> Okay, I had to have these because I thought they were so freaking cute. I love them. Look at that heel. Isn't that just cute? Super cute. Naked wolf. So y'all know I like my naked wolf tennis. Like, follow me, follow me, follow me. So these are the naked wolf tennis that I absolutely love. They're so big, they're so clunky, but they're so much fun, right? Yeah. Big platform tennis shoe. Like, love, love, love. Loved them so much that when I saw on their website... They carried boots. I was like, "Oh, look how cute!" You know, and they've got the they've got the wolf down here. But I was like, "Look at that clunky heel, <gasps> nice and chunky. Isn't this fun?" Fab. <laughs> I, I finally. How long have I had them? I want to say you got them last fall. Possibly, yeah. but I've never worn them, right? Nope. So finally, the other day, we're filming with the interns, and I'm like, "Oh, this will be cute with the outfit, right?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did I even look funny walking in them? Yes. So the thing is, is you know that when you wear boots or shoes, you, you walk, you kind of, your foot rolls like, I don't know, I can't explain it. But this heel is so thick that you clomp like a horse. I felt like I was clomping like yeah, a horse. No, I, it sounded I thought like, I looked like a goddamn horse. I, I mean, thought the was, horse downstairs in the lobby was walking around. <laughs> <laughs> but... So I swore that day I was going to throw them away or give them away. And you swore I had to keep on to them. Yeah, hanging just, on to them just until we get a good shoot. picture. Because they're super cute. And they're so, they're neoprene. Yeah, they're, no, just, they're everything. I'm like, they're so cute, but they're horrible to walk in. Maybe it's another shoe that you just put on in the car, walk into the event, sit down. Just don't walk in them because you look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last but not least. This Chanel I had to have. No. I had to have. I had to have. 
because it was so pretty. And I was like, oh my god, since I don't like my Hermes briefcases, I'll just, I'll use this as a briefcase. This will be cool. I have yet to use it. Why? I have yet to use it. It's so fabulous. It's so big. And it's just, to me, every time I look at it, I think old lady. But it's big. It's it's like a briefcase. It's so wonderful. But this is definitely a purse I don't use. Like, okay, there's people, everybody out there. Me, 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 me. I have to pick me. <laughs> and you better have a garage, so. <laughs> Could give it to the Poshmark. Fab's like, I don't know. Christmas is coming up, and I'm better than Poshmark. <laughs> <laughs> I would literally buy it from you. It's too fabulous. Oh, really? You like it? I love it. Really? You'd carry it? Hell yeah. I'd, put, I'd carry my whole life in that bag. <laughs> <laughs> so guys oh my god oh we just thought we needed to bring this to your attention that even myself yes me i have luxury items that i dread buying because i don't use them or i don't like them whatever you know so, also times change i know and i think sometimes our tastes change not on purpose they, they, they just do you know so I just wanted to take this moment, guys, and share with you some of my regretful purchases. <laughs> and God forbid I tell my husband I don't like it. Yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Did you sign that NDA? I sure did. <laughs> so, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We want to remind you once again that our holiday event is coming fast and furious. Oh, my gosh. It's like two weeks away. It's creeping up on oh us my already. Oh, God, two weeks away. Two weeks away from tomorrow. <gasps> So, we are having that charity event here tomorrow with Cherry Blow Bar. It's going to be fun. What a, what a wonderful way to continue to raise money for Elijah Rising. Um, and then in two weeks, we have the holiday event with all the influencers. Yes. yes. Guess what, guys? We still have some tickets available. So, go on to my website. We're going to put the link below where you can still purchase tickets to come and rub elbows and hang out with some of your most iconic influencers they're flying in from everywhere so it's going to be so much fun we're going to have valet we're going to have it catered of course we have one of our amazing sponsors that is providing all the vodka for the event how cute is this that's so cool oh my god neft vodka has decided to become one of our sponsors not only for tomorrow's event um with the cher uh, cherry blow bar um, but they've also decided to be our sponsor for the Influencers Holiday event. So it looks like a little barrel of oil, doesn't it? It does. So freaking so cute. Unique. So cute. And it is, uh, it is distilled in Austria. So it's produced in Austria. It's distilled from rye and it's produced in Austria. So if you haven't heard of Neff Vodka yet, you've heard it here. Yes. Yes. We're going to have so much fun with Neff Vodka at our holiday event. Um, we're going to have like a menu of um, different vodka drinks that they can choose from. It's going to be so much fun. So like I said, if you haven't gotten your ticket yet and you still want to come, there are still some tickets available and we will provide the link in the box be below. Also guys, I know Christmas is coming up and my merch is available. So we're also going to have the links below for all of my merchandise. Any, any more from the Hey Peeps collect you know stuff mm -hmm. to the Teresa Romer with the face and my name and why be a Kardashian why buy it why be a Kardashian when you be a Romer um phone case motivational Mondays I mean like we got everything guys so if you know Christmas is coming if you've got somebody on your Christmas list that you want to have Teresa Romer merch for there you go there just saying <laughs> so Get your tickets to the holiday event. We're, we're selling out fast. It's There's not very many left, so there are still some available. So anyways, guys, I hope to see you, uh, maybe if not tomorrow, um, because we're having that charity event here, um, maybe for the holiday event. Remember, both events are benefiting Elijah Rising, uh, which is helping to combat human sex trafficking, which is huge here in Houston, huge. So guys, with that said, I hope you had a fun time with me in my closet once again. And until next time, bye-bye.